Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it feels weird. It feels totally weird to be filming in like a different place. And also, I'm sorry if the glare off of my window catches my glasses. I don't really know what to do about that, but it's fall, so I feel like wearing a sweater and my glasses and a beanie, you know, so. Anyway, hello. Welcome back to the vlog that I haven't really been updating in quite some time and that is for a reason and that reason is because i just have simply been too busy to actually write my book i've also been going through a lot of um like changes i don't know how to put it in a not weird way but i moved out i'm currently back at my parents house um a little bit further down the coast so i'm gonna be here until the end of the month Anyway, yes, I have moved out for the time being. I will be moving back to the town I was living in in January, but for starters, I have to go to Costa Rica, which I keep forgetting is happening because I'm kind of repressing it. And also because if I think about it too hard, I feel like it will not happen because of the many, many factors that are preventing um, long-term global travel right now. So that is hopefully happening a little bit further down the line. I think the one thing right now is I'm also working on my grad school applications, so that's a huge bummer. <laughs> Don't know how else to put it. It's been super stressful because there's so many components. I had to get my SAT scores. I took the SAT seven years ago. That brings me to today's vlog, which is going to be not like the other ones I've done in this series where I've tried to write a book in a summer. Don't know why I thought I could do that in one of the busiest summers of my life, I guess because I wasn't taking classes for once, but like even without classes, I was working so much and like trying to hire someone to replace me and now I don't have a job. By the way, I am currently unemployed. Yay. And you know, just wrapping up life in general. Um, so <laughs> it's been hectic. As you can probably guess, I haven't gotten that much progress done on that novel, mostly because I don't think I like it. Even though I went through and came up with a bunch of changes to make it a little bit more appealing to me and my tastes personally, that came out weird. I did end up scrapping pretty much everything I'd written and sort of reapproaching it from a more fairy tale esque tone. I don't know if that makes any sense, but more like Naomi Novik as opposed to like Victoria Aveyard. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I honestly don't think I've read a Victoria Aveyard book. Sorry for putting you on blast. The thing is, today I will be trying to write a little bit of that, so that's why I wanted to vlog, but I'll also be working on my grad school applications, and interestingly, I've sort of semi-recently decided to work on some short form fiction as well and try submitting to different magazines for money because I need it. It's more of an experiment. I'm not super experienced with short form fiction. So for now, most of my focus has been on like coming up with things that can be short stories and trying to write them as short stories and trying to translate my novelist brain into like short form fiction brain, which has been really interesting so far. I think one of the things that clicked for me is that a short story should not be a condensed novel with all the acts and stuff. It should be a very interesting chunk of a larger story. Just focus on like that scene and that moment and like the GMC of that moment, if that makes any sense at all. So I've been trying to read more short form fiction, um, you know, looking at different literary mags and mostly like science fiction fantasy magazines because that's sort of more my jam. And thinking about what I want to write, I think I want to do very like travel focused. I'm sorry, I have dogs, but travelogue style sort of speculative fiction. I don't know how else to put it. So yeah, that's something I've also been working on. I figured I'd take you guys along and sort of see how that goes for me from the get-go. Yeah, that is going to be today. My desk setup is very nice. I am very happy about that. I've moved into my little brother's room, so... Yeah, and I put all my plants here. Now he has plants. I don't know what else to say, really. I guess what I will say is that uh, thank you for coming along. I know I haven't done a vlog in a while and it has, it's like not the vlog series that I expected it to be, but you know what? Maybe it's the vlog series I needed. I don't think that's true either, but I'm going to take you along on my day and just sort of show you guys what it's like to be unemployed and pretending that I'm a full-time writer while also applying to grad school. The grad school's already hurting me and I haven't even gotten in anywhere yet. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the day. Thank you. 
Ugh. Okay, so I've probably done about as much like grad school stuff as I can stomach for this morning. It's around 12, around lunch. I think I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea, sort of energize myself, and then, um, yeah, like move on to just writing, I guess, like regular writing. I think I'm gonna work on my short stories actually, just cause I feel like that'll be a good sort of warm up for me. Yeah, so short stories, cause that'll be a little like warm up exercise. I think I'll probably set a timer for like 30 minutes. Um, I've been working on this one short story that is based off of, yeah, this time I spent in Paris. I have a bunch of ideas for different short stories that are sort of like fantasy versions of like travel anecdotes or just like fantasy-ish like things taking place in like various places I've lived or you know worked or traveled to so yeah that's like pretty exciting I um had an idea to do like a blog like that basically like a while back with a friend that would be very much like not doctored but photos art etc that just like really amplifying this folklore aspect but then pretending that it's like a regular travel vlog sorry that the light is changing so much so i'm sort of riffing off that because i don't think that's something i have the capacity to do right now not for free at least so yeah just sort of riffing off of that seed of an idea and making short stories based off of that just because i feel like it's pretty easy to you know like write a real setting and then just sort of throw some fantasy elements on it i feel like that's um really simple thing for me to do it's you know not too involved it works for a short story because you don't have to do a ton of setup just like setting up the aspect of it that is magical or different or sort of surreal so that's what i've been working on i've been working on one as i mentioned that's set in paris a little bit of a sapphic sort of thing because i have no plans to submit it anywhere basically i just want to work on it and like see how it goes like how this short story thing works because i don't even know what i'm doing and i think you would have to hold me at gunpoint to get me to submit like the first short story I've ever written so but yeah that's how I'm going to spend I think the rest of today so let me just go ahead and get that tea and I will go and start writing Okay, so it's pretty much exactly 5 p.m. I just took like a one hour nap pretty much when you total it all up. Um, I guess I was tired. I think I've been taking a lot of midday naps recently just because I'm not used to the schedule of not being at work in the middle of the day and I'm trying to get off of that. I think part of the issue is I keep waking up like really early because a lot of my friends are in different time zones right now so I want to like talk to them but time zones are kind of weird. Hopefully I can get my sleep schedule fixed. I think I'm about to wrap this vlog up or at least today i don't know this was more of just sort of a catching up letting you guys know what i'm up to and like reviewing sort of what my new day-to-day -day life is like i will be working on my short story for the rest of the day i didn't really get the chance to work on it before the sleepy hit me and i was just out <laughs> like gone from this world i'll be doing that and then um yeah we'll see i actually am really enjoying writing this i'm going for a more stream of consciousness sort of vibe i figure i can like clean it up pick up the pieces make it a little bit more coherent later right now it's not super coherent but just getting the idea out onto the page of this like sentient magical street in paris which is basically what this is about and 
the encounter that one person has with it. Yeah, it's been really fun. I think I really enjoy writing shorter form fiction. I've always been this person who has had this surplus of ideas and has not had the time, mental capacity, energy, etc, etc to like turn all of those ideas into books, but honestly converting a good chunk of them into short stories might be the way to go. I mean, not all of them will translate well into short stories. Most are too like developed as novel ideas with plots and everything to really be short stories at this point, but I feel like moving forward if I put some of my like idea generation into shorts then I can better focus on long form things that I actually want to write, which is exciting. I can't believe this has never occurred to me before. Like But speaking of short stories, I also wanted to do the thing I used to do, which is talk about what I've been reading recently. And this is what I've been reading recently, recommended to me by a friend. This is Jennifer Egan's A Visit from the Goon Squad, which is literary fiction, I guess is what you would call it. It's adult fiction. What this is though, is it's really interesting. It's a bunch of interconnected short stories about different characters. And I feel like reading this has given me such a good sort of like, breakdown of what short stories or short form fiction writing can do, what it can accomplish, um, especially because everything is so interconnected. It is still a novel. It's still very much a novel with like a beginning, middle, and end, but just sort of seeing how something that is a fuller story can be broken down into shorter pieces has been so good for just getting my mind to think in that way. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Honestly, one of my favorite reads so far this year. So I'll be talking about that and wrap up at some point. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. So I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep working on that short story. I think maybe I can finish like a roughish draft of the next couple in the next hour or so before I go rock climbing with my dad. It's 357 words so far, um, but you know, I've been taking breaks, writing pretty fast. I'm gonna try to do it. And if I don't finish today, there's always tomorrow. Okay, sorry first of all for the weird shadows. Obviously it's nighttime and I have less than optimal lighting right now, but I just wanted to give you guys a little wrap up update because I have gotten back from the gym, ate dinner, about to wash up because I am so gross. There's so much chalk in my lungs. So I actually didn't end up working on the novel today. So I guess I'll just post this vlog anyway as part of that series because it's part of the journey or whatever Thing, I'm gonna spin it as but I feel like all in all it was a really productive day I think I'm liking these like casual vlogs more it is sort of nice to be unemployed because I can just like film the whole day even though I honestly haven't left this room other than to work out so maybe I'll try to find a place where I can like actually go outside um, I do have some fun stuff lined up for the weekend so maybe I'll film a little bit of that just sort of like get the ball rolling on like vlogging more regularly I am also going to make a bunch of um, writing advice type or just writing content videos because my plan is to basically line up and schedule a bunch of videos for the entire like three months that I'm gone. So they're just coming out. Obviously I won't be able to like keep track of them or see how they do. So I'm just kind of throwing them into the abyss. But because I feel like when I stopped uploading for like six, eight months back last year, just because I was having um, a really hard time keeping up with everything uh, that really like, I don't know, slowed my growth. I don't 
really care about growth, but it was kind of a bummer to see how much like my engagement went down and it was like a struggle to pick those numbers back up again. There's a huge bug on my plant. Oh my God. So I'm trying to just sort of keep a semi-consistent uploading schedule even when I'm not necessarily available to upload things. Anyway, with that aside, just wrapping up what I worked on writing wise today, I have 800 words in the story. I think I'm about to hit the ending, like the natural end point. Um, which is the protagonist obtaining what they want, realizing it's not what they need. It's all very like, ooh. And I think this is a fun story. Um, I'm gonna like send it to a couple of people who have more experience with short form writing than I do. And also to a couple of people who have no experience with writing because I don't know, because I value their opinion as people. Um, and just, I guess sort of get this beta read in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, still don't really think I'm gonna like try to submit this anywhere. I might because I think it's kind of good um, But I might be delusional so you know, I mean like I wrote this basically in a day <laughs> And it's also not done so we'll see how I can wrap it up and we'll see what other people say about it um, I expect to get fully dragged you know, expect nothing less. So it was a pretty productive writing day, even though I haven't worked on my freaking book. I am still like too stubborn to just give up and scrap that book just cause I hate giving up on stuff like that. Like I'll give up temporarily, but I won't give up for good. And with this one, you know, I made a public promise to finish it by a certain date, which obviously I won't do, but I'll need something to work on, you know, while I'm away and maybe it's, it'll be good to have, have this. Actually, no, why did I say that? I really won't need something to work on because I'll be really busy. It's just that I haven't finished a book in such a long time. And I think that finishing this short story really quickly made me realize that, yeah, I can do it. There's just some sort of like mental block that's keeping me from writing. Even though I want to, even though I have goals in mind, even though I'm like, you know, like talking all this smack saying that I can do it. I know I can. It's something is just holding me back and it's, I no longer have the busy schedule. I no longer have a million responsibilities piling up on me, just like half a million. So I don't have excuses anymore. And I think it's just like a matter of, I just have to do this, like sit down, buckle down and really work on it. And although that didn't happen today necessarily, I'm looking forward to giving that a shot later on. One of the things that's sort of keeping me like afloat right now is that I do have a very clear idea of what this project is going to look like once it is complete and I have a very clear idea of what direction I want to take it in like the clearest it's ever been I know that I can do it basically I know that that project is somewhere in me that book will exist at some point just because it would be silly if it didn't because I've put so much work into it yeah it's just a matter of like getting down getting that focus down and just doing my thing all right that was a long ramble about basically just procrastination. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I will see you guys for the next installment where I will definitely be working on at least some sort of book. Okay, see you guys in a bit. <laughs>